the other way that you can look at it is you're finding a rhythm that you don't particularly like the look of, working out how it sounds, and then trying to play that rhythm several times. So let's look at this example. Here we go. Yeah, so we've got this dotted quaver, uh, semi-quaver rhythm here. So we've got... And it happens all the way through the, the piece. So as long as I can get... Da da dum dum, da 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 dum. Then the left hand da da dum da da dum. Right hand does the same thing. As long as I can get that rhythm across, then I'll be fine. And so if I'm having trouble with this rhythm, or if I s try to sight read this, and afterwards I thought, oh man, that rhythm is really complicated. I don't understand how it works. Well, then just play it in all sorts of positions. <laughs> So you're just sort of playing, you know, in all sorts of places over the piano, left hand, right hand, just to get you hearing that rhythm and, and feeling it. And if we look at something like this, uh, th this has now got the same rhythm. So here we have da 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 da. This rhythm is the same as the rhythm in the other one. So you can see how rhythms get used up a lot. And 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 if you're having trouble with this rhythm. You just practice that rhythm. And then the next time you see it in a song, it is no longer difficult because you know how it sounds. And really with rhythms, knowing how they sound is basically it. If you know how a rhythm sounds, then you know the rhythm. It's kind of, you, you, there's no two ways about it. So try to hum rhythms that you don't understand. Play them on the piano in, in all sorts of positions, just making things up. And then try to play songs and just worry about the rhythm. Again, here's another example. So here it is, just the, the rhythm, not really caring about the notes. So here it is, with the right notes. So it didn't really sound all that different to the other version. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense and hopefully you can start sight reading and actually sight reading and actually playing music and moving forward and getting some progress going.